Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today to watch season one, episode two of One Day. I don't know why I'm saying season one because it's a limited series, so this is the only season that we are going to get. So I think I'm going to stop saying season one. <laughs> Just, we're watching episode two. Um, a quick recap of the last episode. We started the show off in the year of 1988 and um, there was a graduation going on and our two main characters met Dexter and Emma and they went back to Emma's place. They were kind of really hitting it off, talking, having a great time and she didn't end up sleeping with him. I was sassing him which I absolutely adored and loved and I got the vibe that other people or other ladies maybe never treated him that way or didn't challenge him in any way maybe always just did whatever to be with him and Emma was giving him something very different I think than he was used to so they had multiple instances where like they almost separated but then something would draw them back and they spent a very nice night and day together and at the end we saw them going back to his house for a drink, but on their run over there, his parents showed up and met Emma, but Emma didn't want to go to dinner with them. He kind of lied, I think. I think he did lie. I think he said that his parents were there and they were leaving, but, and he called, but he didn't actually call. So his parents showed up and it was a whole thing. Um, but they were very nice. But the way that we ended off, he was going to Rome for, I think, a year. And he said that when he gets back, he would like to take her to his parents' house for like a weekend. And she was like, yeah. But we saw a quick flash into 1989. And he's with somebody else. And she looks pretty happy doing whatever she's doing. So I'm very curious to see how we're going to intersect and things like that. But I'm very excited to see where the story goes. I'm so excited. I love it. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon, link for that's down below. And without any further ado, let's just jump right in to episode two of One Day. Let's go. I'm in the right ballpark. Yeah, I'll just... I'll just... Yeah. How about that? Yeah, 1989. So she's having not a great sex life. Oh, I like them together. <laughs> this is gonna make me sad, I think. Wow. They're very different situations. What is it? Some kind of curse? Yikes. I don't think I like that. Uh-oh. To be continued. Okay. Yikes. Oh, poor Emma. Lash off the top, I'm right. Let's make it a good one. Or at least no worse than the very low bar we said yesterday. Okay, so what? They go around to different schools and like perform? Pretend teaching job must be starting soon, and I think you said your parents are coming to visit. I'm sure they remember me fondly as a girl who came to stay, drank all their wine, and lectured them about the founding of the welfare state. Wait a minute. So she did end up going and spending a week with them? Dang, you speak to me like that. There's been a lovely camaraderie in the company. A report Yikes. The only emotion I can convey convincingly mm. is embarrassment, and I still don't know what to do with my hands. Wow, their lives are so different. Uh, he's a friend from university. What friend sends that many postcards? One who's too idle to write a letter. May you? I'll take it. What are you talking about? In a caster once. Oh, God. Made no effort to learn his lines, so I would say no. 
just twatted about in the costume, smoking. Yeah, yeah, that does sound like Dexter. Where were you last night? We waited at the restaurant for ages. The college disco. Dexter. You look well. So do you. Guys, I don't know. I know you think they make you look like a film star, but they don't. It looks awful. Mm. Say the lines like you're saying them for the first time. I'm a bit emotional. Save it. Save that for the scenes. Uh, and remember... <laughs> save that. Have you met anyone on your grand tour? I've met lots of people. Who? The tear-stained letters we keep forwarding. Tear-stained? <gasps> There's nothing to tell. Really? <sighs> really? Well, at least he, he's sending postcards back, right? And she got drunk and started shouting about the minor strike. That was Emma Morley. Emma Morley. I liked her. Even if she did call your father a bourgeois fascist. <laughs> Come on, Emma. Not like the silly sex pots we usually find at the breakfast table. Emma. Well, it's true. What about this Emma? That's what I'm saying. She's just a friend. Really? Yes. Yeah. I thought she was funny. Mm. And that she liked you. Liked me? Mm-hmm. Everyone likes me. Oh, Dexter. Deeds, not words. Deeds. <laughs> so, this is so bad. She's gonna like run off stage or something. Along came a woman called Emmeline Pankhurst who decided enough is enough. Too big. Too big. <laughs> and obviously, Emma. <laughs> for everything. <laughs> Aww. Uh, two groundbreaking radical... Guys, it feels weird. It feels wrong. Oh, oh no. So he's moved on to packages now, has he? No, it's from a mum. You can't have a cappuccino after breakfast. No one in Italy does. I mean, what next for you, Dexter? What's your plan? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need a plan, Dexter. Why are you in such a rush for me to figure out what I'm doing? I'm just asking because I love you. He just wants to travel. Actually, I was thinking about photography. Photography? Yeah. What kind of photography, Glamour? Or will you be continuing your work on texture? <laughs> Do you know? Okay. Sorry, Dexter, that was mean. I'm a mean one. Yeah, that is mean. What I'm trying to say is Guys. that you've had luck. You've been protected from things, responsibilities, and money. But you're an adult now. Uh oh. Time to be a big boy. <laughs> things might not be this serene. I want to write. Mm. What are you going to write? Our next play. Probably something about a woman who goes back home with her fancy college ways and is never heard from again. I don't like this guy. Leave her alone. No, actually, you can't. Gary, is that his name? <laughs> Gary, get out, Gary. Nobody wants to talk to you, Gary. Don't go back to Leeds. I stay on the van, do another play. She doesn't want to. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, uh, the apartheid project, is that the proposal I wrote? Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. They, they want me to direct it. Let's do this, let's make theatre. No, Emma, don't. You don't want to. Long time ago now. You all right, Mum? Hmm? You know, you seem a bit... Mm-hmm. ...fine for something. I did want to talk to you about something else, but I'm a bit drunk now. Is she <laughs> sick? Take me to lunch Oh, tomorrow. no. We'll talk about it properly. Hmm? Is she sick? Tell me right now. Good night. Good night. Wait, you seem you seem a bit 
Is it you and Daddy? Are you, are you getting a divorce? God, no, never. Who could resist such a man? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Tomorrow, darling. Hmm? Let's have lunch again tomorrow. Guys. I would be like, absolutely not, because that's all I'm going to think about all night and all day tomorrow until I see you. <laughs> Guys, this is not good. Dexter. See, like he already feels like he got bad news. And he doesn't even know anything yet. Is Emma's letter gonna be here? I feel like we need that. <laughs> Unless this is them like both living the same day. You know? Just in their area. I want her to go do what she wants to do. Come on, you and me. No, really. I don't like Gary. Yeah. Is that from her family, actually? Oh. Love Dex. Look at that. Is that like he sent that to her house so that was put into the package? Uh, yeah, I was, but I'm not anymore. But you said London was a cliche, but the writers flocking to London is creating a cultural deficit in the North. Did I say that? Is the room still free? Oh, free, free, yeah. I mean, well, it's 200 a month, but it's free. But I'm, I'm gonna try and write a play, uh, a proper one. Not for school kids, a real one for adults. Oh, can you do it? Yes. Come on, Tilly. Where are you, Em, and what are you doing right now? Much of a letter writer. Can't oh my you. God, Dex. Your last one made me laugh so much. Mm. Are they both left-handed? But I'm gonna come back to London in September. That's crazy. <gasps> He's coming to London? Dexter. September. Wow. Guys, I just, I love these characters and getting to see them both growing. I mean, obviously I wish that they were together, but they seem to still be progressing the bond. At the end of the last episode, I was a little bit nervous that like he just didn't come back or she never spent that week with him and he blew her off or like something kept them apart but i'm very happy that that did happen and that they write letters and keep in touch and he sends postcards and that still seems to be alive and well thankfully um i do think that his mom is maybe sick in some way just the way she was talking to him about like the future and how she was a little bit worried and distracted um, and it's not a divorce, like they confirmed, so that maybe, I would say maybe something with money, but the fact that it's not both parents, like, looking a little bit bleak, I think it has something to do with her specifically, which is why I think she might be sick. I wonder if he'll, if he will get this news and, like, go see Emma or what, so we found out that she is going to go to... London to stay with Tilly and write an actual play. I will say, I'm very excited for that. I will say, I said a couple times in here that I didn't like Gary. I didn't like the fact that Gary was, I felt like he kept not respecting the boundaries that she was setting, which is why I said I didn't like him. I'm sure he's nice and whatever, but I think he was very much viewing things and the need for Emma to be there to progress his life forward. Because he can't write the plays, he can't do that stuff. He was pitching her ideas 
So I think that's why he wanted her so badly to stay there. And we even saw a great example of that with her not wanting to do the karaoke duet and him and everybody else being like, just do it, just do it, just do it until she had a snap. That's one thing that I hate. If I say like, oh, no, thank you. I don't want to do it or I don't want this or I don't want that. It's okay to be like, oh, are you sure? Like, you can do it. We would love for you to do it. Like, okay, you can push a little bit. But if I'm like, no, again, no. <laughs> no. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. People, man. Overall, I do feel like we're really getting to see them in a different light. Like him having fun, kind of on vacation, traveling, doing that. Whereas she's trying to figure out her life and what she wants to do with her life. So it's just a very cool direction. Um, I do hope we don't spend too many episodes with them like apart apart. I want to see like them come back together fairly soon. But I don't know. I don't even know if they're going to end up together. They do feel like the right people. But I don't know if there's going to work out that perfect timing. I don't know. I, the vibes that this show is giving me is that I'm going to cry. Which scares me. Because I didn't think that. When I was like, oh, I want to watch this. I thought this was just going to be like happy cutesy. And I don't think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrified for my life. But in the best way. Once again, the actors just are so great with giving so much emotion without even saying anything. Just off of their face. And I love that. It sounds simple, but it's not. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode with me. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. The link for that's down below. And I will see you guys back here with me for the next episode. Bye, guys.